In the last lesson, we have added a method in the API service class, and this method will be used to get the weather data according to the coordinates like latitude and longitude. But as per our application, we also want to get the weather data according to the city name. So what we're gonna do is, we'll go to the open weather map API for five days, and there on the right hand side, we see this option, get weather by city name. Let's select this, and this is the URL which will be used to get the weather data according to the city name. Okay, we'll use this URL. And let me tell you one thing. These two URLs, the one with the coordinates and the other with the city name, returns the same JSON response. So we don't need to create another c -sharp model classes. We'll use the classes which we have created earlier. The only thing which we'll create is another method in the API service class. So let's go to the API service class and there we'll copy this method and paste it here. Now let's rename this method to get weather by city. All right, then we'll remove this URL. And right after that, let's copy this URL for getting weather by city name and paste it here. Here we'll pass the same API key which we have used in the first method. And in the city name, we'll pass this city which we'll get from this method. So in this method, we'll pass a parameter of type string and name it city. All right. And then we'll concatenate the city here. Here we have created the API service class. Now, when we'll consume this API service class methods in some other classes like weather page, then we have to create the new instance of API service class. And with that, we can call the API service class methods. But if we'll add this class and this method static, then we don't need to instantiate the class. Whenever we want to consume these API service class methods, then we can just use the name of the class. And along with that, we can call these methods, all right? So it's better if we will set this class and these methods to static. All right, that's all from this lesson. Now I'll see you in the next one.